Surprising things that influence the setting of my sci-fi thriller, The Last Beekeeper, part one. The novel is set on a remote island in Lake Michigan. I grew up in Michigan, but now I live here in New Zealand. Even though the novel's set in Michigan, it's deeply influenced by the small town I live in, in New Zealand. I live in a little place called Martinborough. It's just outside the capital of Wellington. It's a wine growing region, and it's a small town where people know each other. There are about 1,700 people who live here. I wrote about this place in my olive farming memoir, An Olive Grove at the Edge of the World. There's the book, this is the olive grove. There's a sense of being connected to the people around you that happens when you live in a smaller town and in a rural area. I wanted to capture that sense of connectedness in my sci-fi thriller because that's important actually for the setting. My fictional setting is an island called Gull Island in Lake Michigan. It's tiny, everybody knows each other, and my protagonist, Jim Parker, who's uh, the last of the traditional honeybee keepers, he lives at the edge of a dark wood. And there's a lot of strange things that start happening, and that sense of connectedness is really important to the novel in terms of the general vibe. So that's how a small town in New Zealand influenced the setting of a sci-fi thriller that's actually set in Michigan.